And now for a bit of fun, here's math meme review with Grant Sanderson, AKA three blue, one brown that we did after the recently released podcast conversation that you should check out. And also thank you to our sponsors, DoorDash, Dollar Shave Club, and Cash App. Click the links in the description to get a discount and to support this podcast. Here we go. I, I, I don't know if I actually know what the goal of a meme review is, but I'll just give it to you. All right, so on Calm Down, Calm Down, A plus, just. What do you make of the absurd fact that when you divide by zero, that's not allowed, that breaks the universe? And My, my review is that the um, devils in the upper right quadrant aren't nearly appreciative enough of uh, projective geometry. So okay. that's that's my review of them. <laughs> it's been uh this oh yeah, okay. This Albert is machine Einstein, learning. One. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> yes. machine learning is doing it over and over again, but bigger. <laughs> yeah. It's... So sometimes uh, you know, quantity has a quality all of its own. Uh yeah, scale, just like with GPT-3, there's some magic that happens. Yeah, I, yeah. This... Einstein didn't have 175 billion parameters. That's That'd be my, interesting. That's my review of that meme. This one, whatever numbers you think, whenever you think you know numbers, uh, my review is it's not sufficiently, not sufficiently mindful of uh, diversity concerns and how the periodics are consistently underrepresented in people's conception of what the different number systems are. So I think it's, uh, I, I'm going to say narrow-minded is my review of that one. All right, you study college level math. Yes, I am almost done with my bachelor's degree. So you know a lot of math. Uh, this one is uncomfortably true. <laughs> this is to our point, is when you uh, get your degree in math. There's a lot left to know. <laughs> That's not even, it's, it's hard. To... <laughs> oh my God. I think there's a, uh, so. <laughs> What is that? I think that's a fish eating a cat. Yeah, no, so it's a cat eating a fish, and then the uh, the fish eating the cat. So I just have to say A+. plus. This should be in every algebra textbook. That's my <laughs> meme review. I poured um, root beer into a squared glass. Now I just have beer. Tired. <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed. Uh, engineering. Got Mythbusters and such. Physics. <laughs> oh, this is per our discussion. <laughs> yes, this, there's no. Yeah. This is a per no our discussion. One, no one thinks that you could popularize math. Um, that's interesting. So, so it ends with that's that is insightful, poignant. So do you think it's so? Do you think there's a, could be a, a cosmos for mathematics? Yeah, I I actually I think there's huge appetite for it. I think Numberphile proves this fact. Um, and and your I mean that's true, but there's not for some reason. Uh, do you think there'll be a Netflix show one day with the... Uh, uh, <laughs> anyone at Netflix is watching this, I will host it for you. You just call me. <laughs> so, but do you think you could have um, like a general public kind of show like Cosmos and do mathematics? 100%. I, yeah. I, have, I think it wouldn't be easy because um, you know, you've got this tight line between are you doing it substantively or are you just waving your hands? I think there's enough really interesting math that you can substantively get across. And I do think there's a pretty big appetite for it. Um, the reason I say number file isn't just that number file is great, but that Brady has like 10 projects yeah. of very similarly styled channels and number file is the biggest among them by far. But they're all successful. They're all successful, but I would have guessed if you were just pitching these products, you know, like 10 years ago, like, oh, the channel on physics will be very popular. The chemistry one will be pretty popular. The, the numbers one, I don't know, some people, that might be like third or something. But the idea that the one about math is the most popular of his channels by far, even though they're similar styles, I does I I does I do think speaks to the fact that there is a unsatiated appetite for real a real understanding of what gets mathematicians going, and uh, I, I think a, a Netflix type entity might recognize that. You heard it here, Netflix. <laughs> uh, Half off haircuts. Uh, oh, it's getting uh, shaved. <laughs> it's <laughs> every time. It's, it's shaving half of the remaining hair. <laughs> this is going to take a, That's, <laughs> that's uh, great. I love kinda, it. It's kind of brilliant. That's my review. No okay. substantive descriptions, <laughs> just I love it. Um, oh, I actually saw this one for a print. Yeah, co teaching and co singing. You deserve to be quiet over there. 
Who needs you? Oh, you don't yeah. give them the love? Do you, you yeah. think sine, oh, cosine, so you, tangent? So you make all... the calculus of like tangent look a little bit more compact while kind of be confusing to every single calculus student <laughs> there that's like, wait, what was secant again? Just write it as one over cosine squared. It's not that many more symbols. Oh, you're contributing to the problem. Well, thank you for doing the most <laughs> absurd thing I probably have ever done. You probably have ever done. I appreciate it. 